The new special envoy to Libya, Abdoulaye Batili, faces a Herculean task of trying to saw back together a divided country. Libya is currently divided into two rival governments. There has been no military unification of the rival armed groups, and it's a still in a state of financial distress with uh, rival centers of power is jostling over the control over the country's financial resources. Against this backdrop, Batili will have the main challenge of having to define a way forward on the Libya peace process. We hope uh, he will maintain a multi-track approach to Libya's problem solving, in the sense that Libya needs a political track negotiation, a military track one, a financial one, and, and one that brings together the internationals. For several years now, the UN has taken this multi-track approach, but over the past few months, it seems that the UN has stopped pressuring Libyan actors to reach a financial agreement. It seems that the UN has also taken a hands-off approach on the security sector unification. So there's a need to renew momentum in that multi-track approach. On the financial track, it is essential that the UN keep pressuring and encouraging Libyans to reach a settlement on the financial disputes that 2014-15 had led the country to have two rival central banks. On the security track also, we have not seen much progress. Unification of the armed forces is probably utopian in the current, in the current polarized environment, but there can still be uh, some progress in you know, discussing and fine-tuning arrangements with regards to the payments of these forces, who is legitimate and who is illegitimate, and the power structure. So we really need to be more hands-on in trying to resolve this issue. Within the political track, the issue that the SRSG will have to deal with is a dilemma. Constitution draft first or a new government first? It doesn't need to be an either or answer. It can be both. And hopefully he can push forward an agreement to reunify Libya under one executive while also carrying forward a process or negotiations to reach an agreement on reaching elections. With regards to the international track, Batili will find himself in a very divided uh, international environment, carrying on what was initiated by his predecessors, who instituted this form of international consultation on Libya, is the right way forward. Because no solution in Libya will actually take root without um, some form of understanding and, uh, and support from the foreign actors. So it's perhaps too much to ask for the new incoming envoy, too much to ask for one man, but this is really what Libya needs. It's an entangled file, it has always been, and the only way to disentangle um, and reunite the country is to maintain this multi-track approach to the problem. <laughs>